Hey there, welcome to the Jody Adventure. My name is Joe. And my name is Odie. And we can't forget our two assistants for this video, Arnis and Nephew. They are May and Owen. We're a Canadian-Filipino couple. That is, Odie is originally from the Philippines and I'm Canadian. And we are on a quest to explore Panay Island, where Odie is from. We want to visit as many resorts as possible along the way. In today's video, we are going to travel from Marini Beach Resort from our last video about 10 minutes up the coast to a really fancy resort that you would think would only be located on the resort island of Boracay. This resort is so beautiful with a white sand beach and two large swimming pools. Not to mention a fantastic restaurant and bar with a pool table. Unfortunately, we had to deal with a little hiccup while we were there. So stay tuned for another Jody adventure in our Discovering Panay Island series at Blue Starfish Beach Resort in the province of Aklan on Panay Island in the Philippines. So here we are, Blue Starfish, the new Blue Starfish Resort. Open and ready to serve you. <laughs> this is nice. We booked for a family room, so we'll see how it is. Yeah, Look at this place. Yeah. This is... Beautiful palm trees. Beautiful palm trees, yeah. This is maybe something that you'd find in Barakai. But it is another gem in the middle of nowhere. It's so nice to see. Such bright colors, beautiful palm trees. Let's look and see what the, the other amenities they have. Looks like they got some swimming pools. Mm. It is absolutely beautiful here. They have swimming pools throw feet deep so you can dive. Yeah. I tell you, you really can't go wrong coming to a place like this. It's a little bit difficult to get to again, but it is beautiful. Look at this place, eh? Who's this coming? Look at that big building. This is a big resort actually. Uh-huh. Yeah, the biggest yet. It is. That we've stayed in. Hey, look at this. <laughs> it's a huh? Oh. Okay, so let's take a look at the room. I like this pump tree. Look at that. Very different. Mm-hmm. It is. Hi! Have some coffee? Have a nice day! Yes, you. you too! Wow, what a place! <laughs> yeah, I know, eh? Oh my god, look at this! Look at the stairs! <laughs> Beautiful oh. room! Luggage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, our mess. <laughs> and let's take a washroom check. Oh, here we go. The best. This is the washroom I've been looking for. Beautiful shower. Hey, with a heater. And a toilet with a toilet seat. Alright. Boy. My dream come true. A toilet with a toilet seat. Yeah. Oh, what have we got out here? We get a balcony in here. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Look at this. What's this? Oh my god, this is a beautiful view. Right? This is just the best. Right outside of our room. 
it is beautiful. Look at this view. So tomorrow morning when we wake up, we'll have this view. Yeah, we're gonna have breakfast in here. Yeah. Gotta have a good coffee. Yeah. Okay, it's time for lunch. Let's see what they got. <laughs> so after marioning, we ended up in this very nice beach resort. <laughs> so we're heading for lunch now. It's yeah. quite, quite the, a bit late for Filipino lunch, but it's alright. We need to take our nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had a really good nap. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what the heat's starting to get to me, I think. Ooh, this is nice. It's got a fire and everything. How can you go wrong with this place? <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to be spending a little bit of time here. Oh yes. <laughs> a bar by the sea. Oh, hi there. How are you? I'm fine. I should say, Kuma <laughs> Star. <laughs> sige, sige. Yeah, sige, sige. <laughs> yeah, this is a nice, nice place. We yeah. just arrived. Yeah, very nice place. Yeah. And we're gonna have some lunch. Do you guys make lunch? Yes. Salama. Salama. <laughs> Salama. You know what? We can eat there too. Yeah. This place are ordered. Oh, look at the fishing boats. Blue Starfish Resort. Yara Lee and Gallon Akan. Is that good or was that good? How's the menu, Odie? Um, good. We have a, quite a bit of choices here. So I think I'm going to go for like okay. lunch. Sure. Mm -hmm. I really like it here. I really like it here. So I guess we're not going to eat inside here. You know, it is a terrific view of the ocean. We're going to be eating in that cabin up there. See, everybody's over there. So that's where we're going right now. Hello. Hi. This really is nice comfy. here. I know. Right by the sea. Yeah. Eating our lunch right by the sea. Wow. Very, very comfy. Now this is a real gem in the wild. Yeah, <laughs> I know we said before that there's a gem, but this is another one. Too. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah. There's Owen and Odie. Hello. Hi guys. This is the best man. I gotta tell you, This is the best yet. This is like a true Philippine resort. This is like something you won't see in Florida. You won't see this in Mexico. This is but one, this is truly Philippine. This is the one that you've been looking for in the Philippines? Yes. This is it. So, Odie just found out something very interesting from the management in the restaurant. They don't have uh, food available and right now they advise us to go to just buy our own food and they'll charge, they'll cook it for us, they'll charge for cooking I guess, but at least it's a good thing because we can eat what we want. Yeah, it's pretty weird yeah. that they'd be out of food. I mean, I guess they're not out of food completely, but... Uh, they have very little selection. <laughs> it's like they have nothing. If we buy what we want, I guess we'll be able to eat what we want. But we just exactly. won't have the spontaneity like ordering from a regular restaurant. 
So, but it's a beautiful place. It is really. Yeah, um, I just don't think it's very busy right now. I think after pandemic, I think it's going to take a long time for some of these resorts to uh, get back to normal again. Mm -hmm. And Saturday, Sunday, yeah, they're busy. Yeah, it's turning. These resorts have turned into just weekend businesses. Where I guess before the pandemic, they have business like every single day mm -hmm. so but we do have french fries coming yeah <laughs> <laughs> this is they're for nice. lunch oh those look really good they look Thank like french fries yeah yeah they're nice so that was a little bit of a surprise again i mean at least we'll be able to eat what we want <laughs> i guess they'll charge us for cooking it and that's about it so mm -hmm. anyway it is what it is. <laughs> so after coming to grips with this little inconvenience, we were wondering where we could go to buy our food. Owen suggested we could all get up really early to buy some fresh fish from the local fishers. Oh boy! Five o'clock in the morning? <laughs> five o'clock in the morning? <laughs> yeah. I'll wake up with you and make sure that you go on your way and then I'll go back to bed. <laughs> So, is this the naked beach that you were talking about? Well, I guess I can go right there at the end and then just get naked. Oh, Moment you? Or... Oh my goodness. <laughs> or maybe you. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, because there's not enough food at the resort, we have to buy some food for tonight until tomorrow. So, we will take you to Thailand Public Market and we will see what we can find here. So there is a banana queue and turon. Ano yung isa? Ito. Maruya. Ah, maruya. Saging mangyapon. Yeah, it's it's also made with banana. So I guess we're gonna have our banana queue. So this is the Tangalan Market fruits. Ano nga kayo man? Side. Ah uh ah. -uh. Yeah. So we're buying mango and 80 per kilo. <laughs> I guess the main the main shop here na may mana. Yeah, one kilo. But we have lots of bananas already. Yeah. Um, dagdag na lang para mag. So they have an artisan. Gourmet shop. It is. They carry uh, milk teas and different food like burgers, fast foods, and there's a laundry mat. And we're buying our milk tea in a small town of Tangkalan. They have one customer. And guess who it is? <laughs> they are me. Okay, so we have a lovely lunch here. You yeah, see that we have a grouper that's been grilled, some rice, and some vegetables. So this looks like quite the feast for the four of us here. No. Looks really good. Fresh fish from the ocean. Yeah, fresh catch fish. This is from this morning. We're gonna enjoy this. So thanks to Owen and TMA who got up early to see the fishers, we were able to have the resort cook us a wonderful fresh fish lunch. So here we are. Been here for two days already mm -hmm. and we are staying one more night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and already we're becoming too used to all the beautiful scenery around here, all the beautiful palm trees. And the beautiful beach. And the beautiful view, the beautiful beach. We're so lucky to have this balcony. We have an amazing view here. So the resort saw my plants from Marama Beach and they planted it. So I really have to take it back. Here are my plants. <laughs> so after I retrieve my flowers from the resort, I asked this nice lady to plant it for me. And I hope my flowers will survive. And I thank these beautiful people that are helping me. <laughs> from Tangalan Aklan, uh, Barangay Hawili. 
Those flowers came from Sopian and we're gonna be planting it over here in Tangalan Aklan. <laughs> wow. And we will take it to Mayon Capiz, so hopefully it will survive. So there's Odie waiting for the latest video to upload. Yeah. <laughs> I have to stay here for at least 20 minutes. Or more. <laughs> yeah. Depends on the signal. That's right. So there's the main building. I think there's a lot of rooms in there. We're over in that building over there, right after the swimming pools. And as you can see, we have a 12 foot pool. And we have a little kiddies wading pool here as well. And also a hot tub. But you know what? The water is so hot that you'd swear it was a hot tub too. <laughs> so there's our building right there. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful view of everything. It's absolutely gorgeous. And there's where the office is. And there's also rooms in there as well. We got the mountain in the background. Monty, the owner, was saying that uh, he owns some land up there and is starting to build some uh, villas. Sounds like they're very reasonable. Two bedroom, two bath, and I think he said they are going to be going for about $120,000 US, so that's not a bad price. I really love it here. I wish we could actually stay longer, but you know what? We got more sites we're going to see. <laughs> Look at that view from our balcony. Isn't that beautiful, huh? This is our view every morning. Everything from up here. There's the pool. Beautiful palm trees. It, it's simply amazing. So let's go up here, up to the balcony. Look at this. It is a nice view. And there's a the pool. There's the main building. down and see what's there. So there's Monty. Hi Monty, how are you doing? Aloha from Hawili Beach. Come and join us here for a peaceful relaxing time. Oh yes, it's absolutely beautiful. There's the man right there. <laughs> Perfect host. Everybody who works here has been absolutely wonderful to us. So here's the view of where we stayed. That's our room right up there in the corner. We had a huge bedroom with two beds in it. And these little huts here are for picnics and for the locals to come, enjoy a day of swimming, a little bit of enjoyment playing on the beach. Look, there's even fishing boats there as well. Really love this place. He even has a couple of kayaks. He's gonna get a banana boat in here too, he said, so that's gonna be really neat. So let's go down to the beach, take a look. A little bit of seaweed here, but you know what? When, once you get in the water, there's no seaweed at all. The seaweed is just natural. I think we even have some coconuts in there. <laughs> There's the restaurant where we eat. And as you can see, the beach extends pretty far up.
really like this place. And who do we have here? <gasps> By golly, it's TMA. Hey, what are you doing way out here? I'm enjoying the breeze oh. and the good view of the resort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the beach is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And there's where we ate every morning. <laughs> We come downstairs and we eat our breakfast and we look out at that beautiful view of the ocean. So there you have it guys. I'll tell you, as far as resorts go, it doesn't get any better than this. Because uh, it might not be Barakai, but if you want a little bit more quiet, a little bit more scenery, clean water, beautiful beach, couple of beautiful swimming pools, good food, this is the place to come. Right Odie? Yeah, don't forget the good people. Oh yes, yes. Monty and his crew really show you a good time here. Just wonderful. Anyway, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell. And always remember, it's, it's never, never too, too late, late for, for an adventure. adventure. See you in the next video, guys. So there's our car. It's still surviving. <laughs> We're putting it through a lot of abuse, going through all those really narrow and rough roads. That's so, part of his land, I yeah, guess. Yeah, eh? this is part of the Blue Starfish uh, Resort land. Yeah, and... they're going to be expanding. Yeah. Landslide on area. <laughs> so, do you really want to buy a property here? <laughs>